What up, everybody? <clears throat> uh, gonna try to shoot a little smally video today. Um, gonna go to a lake I've fished, you know, previous years before. Um, it's still cold here, you know. I think the water temps are around, you know, a lot of the lakes, like 50 degrees still. Um, anyway, gonna go try to catch some smallies. Um, you know, pre-spawn, they're gonna be hold. They're, they're gonna be staging just outside of those spawning areas. So, just outside of bays. Um, you know, gosh, I don't know. So outside of bays on, you know, around like the first break, even around the rocks and so on and so forth, like that. Um, I'm just gonna be going along the shoreline, looking for maybe some deep timber. I don't know putting on some small sucker minnows, maybe some fat heads um, on a couple rods. Just chucking them out and uh, yeah, I don't know. That's all I got for you guys. It's my mouth time. I had a crappie minnow on. I didn't get the hook set on, but I'm hoping it's a smallie. That is gonna be a northern. Be a big old smallie, please. My first fish of the day, by the way. What is it? It is a. Oh, it's a nice. Here we go. It's this nice smallie. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. There we go. Been wanting to. Nothing. Well, not, not a giant, but. There we go. Look at that. First smallie of the year. There's the first smallmouth of the year. I am extremely happy with that. out of here quick. Oh, was all right. Back. I almost, I almost didn't have them. There we go. There you go, you guys. Look at that. It's a nice little smallie. I don't know, probably a 15 or 16 incher. Yeah, 15 and a half. Pretty darn close. Boom. Get out of here. Sweet. You know, I went all the way down the lake, up into this bay, just messing around, and look what happens. I think I got another fish on here. A little sucker minnow over by this dock. Got him. Yep. There we go. Smalley? Yeah, it is. Oh, you guys, this is awesome. Just going along the shoreline here. Live bait. You can call it cheating, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, I call it fishing.
This Smalley just slammed this sucker minnow. Come here, bud. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's another nice little Smalley. Oh, if I can get my. There we go. Nice little chunker. Nothing massive. That's awesome. That's that's actually two casts in a row. Beautiful colors on these fish too. Get out of here, bud. <laughs> I think I just got hammered. I'm just guessing because I did a double jig. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> be a big one that's what we need we need a big old swamp donkey I cast it way up in that timber oh it's a nice little Somali cast it way up in that timber and I actually I actually jigged the the split shots off the bottom I did a double jig that's a bigger one and I just felt this thing just hammer it Oh, that's a bigger Smalley. Come here, bud. Oh, so fun in this seven foot two ultralight. Oh, come here. Gosh. Oh. You know, I shut my trolling motor off. There we go. Another nice fat smolly. Makes me wonder how many are up in here, you know. I've literally caught three off of that shoreline so far. I haven't even tried over here yet. Why don't you do over here? Why don't I even try it? Huh? Since I'm here and all I'll grab a I just got bit up there again. Oh, and I missed it. Darn it. I missed him. You know, grab my other little bit heavier duty rod here. Seven foot two, medium fast, tuned up, apex, elite. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> there's a fish already, I think. Got him. Yep, there's a fish already. <laughs> Boom, baby. It's like that. Best part with this rod is it'll handle these fish really good. Oh, it's a nicer smile here, you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice smile. He's digging. This is definitely our biggest smolly of the day. I'm try to stay away from this area over here. Oh, that's a oh yeah, that's a dandy. Uh, 
Sorry there, buddy. Listen, that's a, definitely the biggest one of the day. Unhooked. That's a chunker. That's probably a couple pounds. Right. Got that big smiley going back in the water. There we go. Fish, I think. There's a fish. Got him. I got him. Got him this time anyway. Just trying to control my anchor here. Here. You know what I think I did? I just watched it, you could say. Messed it up, didn't catch it. It's all the same, I'm pretty sure. This fish hit my bait and then dropped it and then hit it again like immediately basically this could be this has got some some potential to be a just a donkey not cutting me no slack that's for sure That's a big one, you guys. I think this is bigger than the other one from today. Yeah, it is. You know what I do? I got this handy little thing over here called a net. Oh, it's a big smallie, you guys. Look at the size of this big smallie. Oh, look at that. Now that is a freaking toad. That is a toad. For, especially for this lake. Oh my gosh. Oh. That is a nice fish, you guys. Gosh. I can measure my real quick. 18 and a half. And 18 and a half and three point. 3.78 that's three and three quarter pounds what a, what a donkey here we go the swamp donkey of the day three and three quarter or oh, three and three quarter pound smolly going back down to spawn some smally fishing today um you know a lot of people most people use uh soft plastics you know artificial lures just nano smallies i love using live bait 
You know, there's nothing wrong with using live bait. A lot of people might complain about it, but I don't care. Today we used, uh, let's see here, got my seven foot two Apex ultralight tuned up custom rod here with a pre with a presidential Fluger C30 uh, reel. Uh, there's like six pound test on this. I caught a couple, I think, right away uh, for this bad boy. Same thing on both ones. Just a couple split shots and a plain red hook. And then here I have my tuned up custom rod Apex Elite seven foot two uh, fast action rod. What do I got a got a quantum reel on here? Quantum throttle. Um, ten pound J braid on here. And actually, it's it's just a Lindy rig setup. You know, I got a I got a tungsten slip sinker on here that you know. Normally, I would just be pulling around for walleyes, but it worked great. I mean, got that that uh, sucker minnow three feet off the bottom, pitching it out. And these these uh, smallies I was catching today, you know, they're pre-spawn. They're 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 getting you know they're getting ready to come up and spawn. You know, so they're staging right on the outside of their spawning areas. I was catching all mine. Gosh, well, you know, I caught. I did catch that first bunch right up in the right up in the timber in like six feet of water, but you know there that's still uh, it's still uh, pre-spawn. That big one, the very last one, that was a mondo, right, Murray? Thing was it was a tank at least around here. You know, three and three quarter pounds, eighteen and a half inches long. That was the fish that really made this uh, made this day great. Um, anyway, you seen that? couple of fat heads mostly sucker minnows just flipping them out there dragging them back snapping necks and cash and checks right anyway hope you guys like this video please like share subscribe i'll be putting more videos up i'm actually going to leave right now and try and shoot a bluegill video somewhere so peace